Hello everyone, my name is Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of EU4 with the OOT Revival mod with Atlantis. Yes, so in the last episode we totally destroyed Spain over here. Okay, not really destroyed Spain, but we totally took over basically all of the um, East America's uh, Spanish colonies. It's very nice. Named it Atlanta, as, you know, that makes sense. It is Atlantis, Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, everything's going quite nicely. Cuba has, ooh, have actually wiped out the Portuguese almost in, uh, the Caribbean. Portuguese don't even, they only own, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six lands left. So, uh, you know, if you want to, Cuba, if you want to go wipe them out, have fun. Um... Can I support your independence yet? No. English, Brazilian... Do they hate me? Really? Uh, whatever. Let's in, uh, increase opinion them. Oh boy, we had another rebellion. Who doesn't love a good rebellion? I know I sure do. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that though. It's only, uh, peasants. Disloyalist states? Oh, that's not good. Let's make a generous donation. Now, the Spanish have continued colonization. That is, um, well, unfortunate. Manhattan. Yeah, we just got Manhattan from uh, some natives. It was huge, huge native rebellion. Not rebellion, a native just war in general. Look at that. CO4. <laughs> yep, that's a glitch. Truce has ended with Spain and another revolt. Holy shit. A Floridian nationalist. All right, but easily taken down. Do you actually have an army? Atlanta. Oh, doesn't seem like they do. Skills with Prince Consorts. Yes, yes, yes. All right, kill, 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 and conversion successful and nice. Speaking of which, we only have Silgonians ready to rise up. In fact, uh, we are about to totally convert Ireland. Look at that. Well, not all of Ireland. We unfortunately still have Thulmans. Also, so one of you gave me a good idea. I could just straight up join on uh, the Catholic side over here. Now, if we join the Catholics, uh, you know, honestly, I think the Catholics might win. They have Spain, Portugal, Dixmarchen. That is a weird, it's a republic. That, that's a weird flag. Um... Hmm. Yeah, they, they really don't have anyone good. I mean, they have uh, Novgorod. Is Novgorod good? Nope. No, they are not. Denmark has totally annihilated them. Speaking of which, Norway. Norway, Norway, Norway. If we declared war on you, France would not join because it's a distant war. Come on, France. You know what? I think we can invade Norway now. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, do some covert actions on them. So we can start taking over their Canadian provinces. Because we sure do need uh, some Canadian provinces. Let's go ahead and get a Galleon. The Galleon. Arsenian Infantry. Sweet. So we have an amazing army now. By the way, so our navy. Yeah, fuck it. Upgrade them to Galleons. We need to have a nice strong navy if we are to uh, invade any Europeans. That is a fact. Uh, so by the way, how's the power in the Chesapeake? Good. The Caribbean? Good. We still don't know Mexico. Uh, Panama? Ooh, we own all this portion. The good portion of Panama. We should probably colonize here just so we can... Uh, actually, no. We need to colonize in these two areas next so we can cut them off. Have Mexico be nice and big. Speaking of which, how uh, is the Liberty Desire? Cuba is also uh, already growing. They have 169 developments. We need to continue our conquests in Zhu. Ah, oh, there's so much to do. So little time. Honduras has finished. All right, let's send them to Lenka. Kill all the natives. Go over here. Come on. There we go. And once we finish colonization in Nicaragua, move on to Darien. And that should be it down here. I guess we could start colonizing other areas. Oh, hey, the English have actually colonized down in South Africa. Funny, funny stuff. Real funny stuff. 
Uh, and we can culture convert that land. By the way, is, uh... Yes, God Mech is now South Atlantean, so... The English are going to lose their client, their cores. Same thing with the Bermuda, right? Yep. Good. Very good. Very, very nice. Very nice, indeed. How's the conversions in Atlanta? There's some anomism. And, uh... They're doing well in Mexico as well. Good. Good. Very good. Navigator. Oh, we actually don't have anyone. Uh, let's get that dude then. Good. All right. So, Scotland. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go back down to English Brazil. English Brazil, we will support your independence. So now, your liberty desires should shoot up. Yeah, 61%. Accepted support independence. Good. So, if they gain independence, that'll greatly weaken the English, which will be very nice. Uh, speaking of which, England, who are you allied to? Alsace, Aachen, Bremen, and Brunswick. Okay, good. If we, um, declared war on you, yeah, it'd just be all those people. Uh, France would join. Francy, Francy pants. France would join. H how many favors do we have? 16, so that's a good amount. What about Thulmans? Would you join against Thulmans? You would. Even though Brunswick brought uh, Brandenburg, Ansbach, and Lithuania, and Den uh, Denmark is on their side. Okay, so Scotland. We are annexing them. It will take until February of 1602. Oh, God. We need to keep improving relations with Gaeldum because we need to annex them, and hopefully it will be on the same month, so well, we can take all of this over immediately. And so that we won't have any uh, problems later because the diplomatic reputation decreases when you uh, annex someone. Alright, so there we go. We've secured Central America for the Atlanteans. Very nice. Alright, and let's just go ahead get the Faroe Islands as a claim. So, declaring war in Norway just simply isn't going to... Well, they're not going to... Uh, France isn't going to join, sadly. We promised you land. No. Denmark. Who's Denmark allied with? Norway, Thorman. Yeah, I'll just attack them. Norway's probably going to continue colonization in uh, Canada. That's good. Well, are you colonizing at all? I don't think you are. I mean, you haven't cored all the land, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But, um, alright. So, when can we... When does the annexation of Gildum end... Uh, February of 1599. So we need to wait exactly three years. So in 1594. Hopefully I'll remember it. But for now... For now... Let's go ahead and bring this army over... To Thul. Thul. Thul and then, um... We'll just send more armies over there. Okay, we already have this army. Let's send them to Orkney. We can culture convert that to be South Atlantean. Eh, I don't really care. Quality troops of our uh, quality of our troops is impressive. Nice. HRE yet again has that uh, guy as Emperor Bohemia, I believe that was. Clergy gain influence. That's fine. All right. So declaring declaring war on Norway, bring in Denmark just to check. So um. How strong is everyone? Denmark is decently strong. 61,000 soldiers. It's pretty terrifying. Pretty terrifying indeed. But we just need to keep the war score. War goal. Oh no, but we need. We also need a fort. Uh, how's Norway? Norway, Norway, Norway. Only 7,000. Very weak. How's the navies? Denmark has a huge navy. 15 heavies? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What are they? Alright, 15 heavies. It's not good for us. That's 8 more than us. Um, and they have the exact same technology as us. Wow, Norway, you are fucking lucky that uh, Denmark is your ally. Honestly, Denmark could form Scandinavia if they just decided to. I can't fight that. I just can't without more 
navy. Here, let's go ahead. One, two, three. Four, too much. How much do these cost? 0.6. I'm making, what is it, 0.8? Point, okay, so... Uh, create 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 heavies. Holy shit. This is, this, that is expensive. That is very expensive. But it's the only way. Only way we can take over all the Atlantic Islands. Merchant shipwrecked. Alright, good. God. God, God, God. This is going to be a harsh battle. Hmm. I also need to land someone over here. Hey, you're a... Uh, okay, you hunt for the seven cities. Try and do that. Try and uh, discover more lands, please, and thank you. Our colony, Atlantean Mexico, has declared war on you. Nice. So they're allied with mixed tech, but of course, I mean, I'm sure they can handle it themselves. Right? Right. Zhu is still extremely uh, low in technology, so it's good. Um, we should get quality ideas. Yeah, ship durability increase. Very nice. And, of course, the attrition for enemies is also nice. What do they have? They have quantity ideas, which is probably why they have so many soldiers. Even though I have, like, I have the second most development in the world. Denmark is, has almost half my development. Man, I still need that printing press. Ugh, fine, lose admin points. I really need more admin points. What is this? Oh, God. Really not giving me much. Um, ship trade power increase. I'll use that eventually, I'm sure. Mutiny. Uh, lose some military points. That's fine. Loss in mind and space. Fine, I don't care. Maybe I should declare war in England. I mean, they're little buddy. I don't know why they're not rising up. Brazil? You have the power, Brazil. You have the power. You could definitely do it. I believe in you, Brazil. I believe in you. Geldum. Ooh, we're almost there for Geldum. When will you finish annexing? February 1601. Exactly one year from now, I'll begin annexing them. And we'll basically have no Diplo power to speak of. A dog's life. Yeah, screw those uh, natives. I don't really care about them. New settlement. Increase base tax. I'm okay with that. And... Oh, there goes the truce. Here is our navy. Fully built up. God, it is costing us a pretty penny, though. Alright. Everyone groups up here. To the massive Galleon Navy. Now, we have to remember, they also have a huge amount of um, galleys. So, we can't allow ourselves to get caught inside of an inland sea. Where is inland sea? You know the... There it is. So, it begins in Katigat. That is the inland sea area. We're also going to need a decent leader. Eh, decent. And of course, do we, do we have an amazing leader, right? Yeah, five fire general. I mean, it's not so good right now. It's not even 1600, but it's okay. So Norway, we be fighting them all alone. I mean, granted, all of our vassals and little buddies, but that's not really saying much. Let's save the game first, just in case everything implodes on us. Because you know it will. And go ahead, declare war for the Faroe Islands. Should... I mean, okay, Norway is not obviously not the problem. It's I'm just scared of Denmark, because Jesus Christ, Denmark. Oh, I forgot. Well, Norway has zero um, heavy ships as well. They have, like, no, no navy at all. What is up with that? Just the lack thereof navy. Very sad. Here, you can go to Shetland. This occupies land. Yada, yada, yada. So we should get some... I'm assuming we might get some soldiers. No, wait, actually. Come on, Cuba. You, here, what if we told them, all of them, to uh, go on siege, Vokas. If they want to come and help out, they can help out. Why are we at negative one already? Blockades. Ooh. Ooh. 14 heavies, 20 lights. 
They just have a fuck ton of transports. Like, seriously, that is a scary amount. And they don't have a leader. Let's save again. Uh, before we jump into this battle, because this could make or break the war. Oh, our little buddy actually joined as well. Nice. So they've lost a heavy. They lost another another heavy. Oh my god, they lost all their heavies. Yes! This battle was a huge success. With no heavies, they lost 13 heavies out of their 14 heavies. And one light ship. We lost a light ship and a transport. That is good. That is very, very good. And there goes that other navy of uh, two heavies. Oh, come on. Destroy them. Yes! We actually captured two, uh, two uh, lights in that battle as well. Very good. Very nice. Good. Our little buddies have really pulled through here. Helping us out in those battles was very nice. Here, uh, go land in Oisland. It's in Oisland. Oh, look at you. All right. Let's take, obviously, take these little islands. Oh, 27. That's pretty extreme. 38 in total for all the land I want. Of course, if I take over all that, they might not even be able to colonize. That'll be fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, that is a huge navy. Where did they get... Again, it's all just transports. But there goes the Cuban navy, sadly. Um, Split in half. Take it all over. Hopefully our little buddies don't screw ourselves over with those battles. Those really, really bad battles. And of course, now that basically means we could totally blockade them if we wanted to. No, okay, they're running away. Here, actually, why don't you start to get picked up? And you come on over. All right, uh, I think we should hunt down that big ass navy they have. And we could very well, oh, if we could manage to blockade them, that would be nice. Oh, another Inquisitor! Our Inquisitor died. I'm like, oh. It's going to be hard conversions now, but nope. We're all good. All right, let's heal up this navy, though. We probably need a bit of a rest. Right now, um, yeah, taking war score. If we destroy their navy, we could, like, totally blockade them and gain a huge amount of war score. And, oh, my God, they're actually attacking me with twenty, with 30,000 soldiers. Jesus. Okay, Tenmark, chill. Like, Jesus Christ, fucking chill there, bro. All right, get down there. We destroyed their navy again. Nice. All right, so the Danish navy has been utterly annihilated. We need to get down there before they meet up. Come on. Oof. Why don't you just run? Run away for now. We'll destroy that army. Get over there. Yeah, we should be able to destroy them at least. With our pretty decent leader. Not decent, I'm pretty damn good. They have two shock, we have two shock, but we have five fire as well. So, um, yeah, we have the advantage. And we're just going to destroy 30,000 soldiers. Oh, please let this happen. Ooh, we have 1.1 more morale than them. 10% more discipline and 2%. Our 2%, two more military tactics. We squished them in one battle. Holy actual fuck. We are destroying the Danish. This is great. Ah. Uh, hope oh, man, what if this causes like the collapse of their empire? Wouldn't that be fun? We have Black Exiled? Oh. Oh, you guys lost your leader. Oh, that's sad. Oh, and another amazing 522. General, oh my god, what is going on? Lantis, yep, yeah, we've occupied all that land. So, uh, not too far off from taking over what I want now, huh? Hmm, and of course, annulling their treaty. I totally forgot about annexing Gildum. Fuck, whatever. We'll do it later, then. Uh, screw me. Whatever. It's good. It's good. Here, let's get this navy on over there. So now that we've annihilated that army, I am way more comfortable with invading their mainlands. If I, we could invade their mainland, that means... Nah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to blockade them. 
and hope for the best because they have two heavies and 18. They actually have no galleys. I thought they had a ton of galleys. Maybe I was looking at transports. Who knows? But their navy is shit and they should feel bad. Let's go uh, blockade their lands. All their lands. Where is their navy? Oh, and we just destroyed their two heavies. Yep, okay, we're good. Let's start splitting these guys in half. Should be able to pretty easily blockade these lands. I did that. And, uh, did that. Did that. So we're totally blockading, um, Denmark here. 62% blockading Norway. 27%, 33% blockading, uh, Denmark. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. Oh, no. We actually need a lot of people to blockade there. Oh, wait. It's only 19%? Nah, fuck it. Get over there. Thir really? It's a really small amount. 39% only. Why is this blockading so low? That's weird. You know what? Our main enemy here is Norway. So we need to blockade Norway first and foremost. Nahuatl. Uh-oh. Mexico, did you fail in your war? I think they failed in their war. All right. Would you surrender yet? You would not. Coalition of England, Thoman, Norway, and Flanders. I don't really care about that, though. I really don't. So we can ignore them. Okay. So that's good enough. Split in half. Yeah, they're pretty much totally blockaded. And I love it. Yep. 89% blockaded. This is just going to gain... Uh, war exhaustion tremendously. Yeah. Quite a bit. Increasing their unrest. Slowly but surely, Norway will fall apart. And it'll be delish. I am gaining a ton of attrition up there. Wow. Did not expect that. Whatever. We're good. We're good where we are, I think. Just sit down. Relax. And Denmark is occupied. Pitbull. Because holy shit, they sent another 32,000 over to Mexico. Hmm. Eh, whatever. That's just Mexico. That's just Mexico. Plus, they aren't even the war leaders, so it's not like they matter. Come on, you want to decrease. Actually, how strong is Denmark right now? Denmark, 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 beautiful Denmark, 56,000. So that basically means their entire army is over in Mexico right now, which means as long as we transport these guys over, we could take over Norway. Oh no. Oh, Norway, your poor, poor lost soul. Denmark has abandoned you. I hope you realize this. Oh, and there's their navy. Oh, and they're totally locked in here. They're going to lose a bit, I think. Just a little bit. Yep. All right. Five. Five of their light ships. Two of their transports. Good. Are they holding soldiers? I hope they're not holding soldiers. Nope, they're not. Again, with 30,000 over there, they're, they kind of just fucked themselves. A lot. All right. How would they invade there, of all places? Seriously. Why? And their capital has fallen. Oh no. Oh, Norway. And they're attacking us. Oh, what? They have to, I guess. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Who is this? Atlantean Mexico is now getting revenge. Very nice. People has finished. Oh, and we can't colonize there. All right. Where should we colonize then? Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and colonize all the way up into the frozen north. I like that idea. These caravels... Uh, we might as well keep them, I guess. Here, get over here. Take over this fort as well. And just continue your conquests of... Oh my god, Mexico, you poor baby. Continue your conquests of Norway. Watch them cry and crumble. Uh, what can we get now? Scientific experimentation. We'll get that in a bit. We just want to finish this war first and foremost. I mean, really, only 114. That's not a lot at all. 
the Diet of Praha. Catholic becomes the official union of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, golly, doesn't that just suck for you guys? Sorry, England, you lost. You big dumb, dumb dummies. Dumb people. Come on, finish the siege. Here, if we blew down the doors. Oh, come on, you assholes. And they're going to retake. I guarantee you, with a 28% chance, they're going to retake it before we take this tw uh, 42. Oh, my God. Yep. Eric's Fjord just had a rising. Oh, God. Come on. You know what? Go ahead and attack them. We have an amazing leader. And uh, you guys can help out just in case. Yeah, all right. And I think this spells doom for Norway. Sorry, Norway. You could have done it, but... They're an idiot. You, I, I was actually concerned at first, but once their navy fell, I felt pretty damn good. That's the power of a navy, everyone. That is the power of a navy. So, um, yeah, we'll just take this then. <laughs> Sorry, Norway. I'm sure you understand. Increase everywhere here. You definitely want to increase autonomy in these areas. All right. Let's get our armies over to... Well, I guess this land. And this army go up to Eric's Fjord and Vespiaisen, Ves I guess. And uh, of course, get experiment, experimental, ex uh, scientific experimentation. Very nice. And uh, Diplo, we should probably get maritime ideas as we do need quite the navy. Morale of navies increase. Ooh, that would be good. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to. Where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so Norway's been beaten back. We have taken over pretty much all the um, uh, small islands in northern in the northern Atlantic, which is very good for us. Um, just need Greenland, this last piece of Newfoundland, and the rest of Britannia. So that'll be good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya Tune. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Uh,